The Occupational Therapy Program is a one plus one program. Our students spend one year getting their general ed at Connor State College, and then their second year they spend at the Indian Capital Technology Center campus working on their technical skills. This is a unique program designed specifically for this class. It's very exciting and it's groundbreaking really. Occupational therapists can be found in a variety of settings. They can be found in hospitals, nursing homes, school systems, outpatient clinics, and we can also be found in more non-traditional settings. We've gotten the entire community involved, which is very exciting. They're working with Bridges Out of Poverty right now and in core, both nonprofit organizations based out of Muskogee. Working with other organizations in the community very early on in the program, and they get used to developing professional skills. They get used to advocating for the profession and educating others what it is we do and what makes us distinctly different. A lot of people think, oh, occupational therapy is very similar to physical therapy, but this is how we're making a difference. Our practice is to focus on getting people engaged in what they do every day that they may really be struggling with due to a new life change. The classroom gives you a very textbook way of doing things, but we also incorporate our field work, which is real life experience in the field of occupational therapy. So we, we take what we learn in the classroom into the field and we actually get to apply it there. We learn theory and concept in lecture and then we come into lab and we put that into practical use. Our students may have to practice um, how to engage with the client. How do you explain to them something new to a client that doesn't really understand what's going on? And that's a great opportunity for our students. Our occupational therapy students are very hands-on. ICTC and Connor State College, um, this is a joint um, effort between the two institutions to make this program possible. Um, so they have provided us with this therapy lab. So they use people within our building here. We're trying to pull people within the community to come to volunteer for our clinic. So we do a lot of simulation and role play. So when we have patients come in for splinting, we want to actually use real patients or real people in the community especially. And within this lab, it gives us a really good idea of what it's going to be like when we do get out into the clinical settings once we complete the program. And also while we're in the program, we get to see the setting in our field work. We actually do simulations of them working with a patient that may have a, a disability they may see in the clinic. Because it's easy if they practice on me or Ms. Stack, you know, because they know us. But what if they truly didn't know someone? This is a field that's unique in that everything is centered around the client and their goals, where they want to be. Occupational therapy is on a treatment continuum and you start with the very basic. The end goal is to reach an occupational task or an activity. You know, getting someone to transfer from the bed to the wheelchair is going to be towards the front of that treatment continuum. That person may eventually would like to be able to walk again if it was a CVA patient or a stroke patient. That may be their end goal, but you have to start small and uh, work towards that uh, long-time goal. Very non-traditional, very community-based, and we're very excited. It wasn't until I got into this program that I really got a grasp on what occupational therapy really is about. We're really looking forward to the development of this program. That's what makes our program distinctly different at ICTC and Connor State College is that our students do community service, they do community-based programming, and that is definitely cutting edge um, for our time and where we are in academia, and it's just very exciting to see that engagement of community come together.